Hey everyone, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome to the start of a brand new AFL 23 management career here today on the channel. We're going to be playing as the Collingwood Football Club. So if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. We've already played as Richmond and Brisbane, so go and check out those career saves if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments which team I should play as next. All right, here are the career settings. Hardest difficulty, 2.5 minute quarters. And let's get stuck into this save. So we have a match against GWS in the preseason. Here is the team. The forward line is absolutely stacked. Same with the midfield. However, our defense is a little bit to be desired. All right, so we're going to sim this preseason match. And we want to get stuck right into round one. And thankfully, we win by a goal there. GWS with a couple comebacks by looking at the worm. But overall, Collingwood win 36 to 27. Okay, and no one's not injured now, which is good. And I think I'm quite happy with this lineup as we go to the MCG to face the Cats. It's going to be a tough one, a little bit of a kit clash. But the main objective of this series is to try and make top four and, of course, make a grand final. We haven't won a premiership in 14, 13 years or so. Here we go. Massive opportunity here today. Massive test against the reigning premiers. Hopefully we can get a win. Now, obviously, with all these brand new updates and patches, the games are significantly harder now. And I'm still getting used to the new update as well. But here we go. Collingwood facing the Cats. And already fresh out the block here. How? Thumps it. Oh. <laughs> Completely misses. Brad Close plays on. And the Cats start off the scoring incredibly early on. Not good. Not good whatsoever. Conceding the first goal of the series. All right, back in the ruck contest. Side bottom wins this one. Bombs it forward, trying to find the target of Bobby Hill. He does get the grab. All right. Bang smack in front. The former giant puts it through the big sticks, and it's tied up. This is going to be an ultra-competitive match by the look of it. But this Collingwood side feels good. Second quarter now. The Cats chipping it around. Looking for their second, and I think they get it as well. The Cats take the lead in the second quarter. Very low scoring in the second half now. Cats looking for their third. They're going out to the win. Wing, decent handball back. Ball in. Another great grab. How? Not having the best match, and they're running on and playing on as well. They're playing some very elegant very free flowing football and Stengel bags another the cats smashing the pies at the MCG who would have thought this isn't at uh, GMHBAE they're not down in Geelong oh, I just can't seem to contest the mark let alone try and go for it and Isaac Smith now with an opportunity. Steps up. It's another one for the Cats. Four goals. As we go into half time. Need to switch on here. Man, I'm really noticing the difficulty. Upped a bit. As so we just put it into a. A boundary throw in there. Still trying to get used to it. Still trying to learn how the AI reacts. So hopefully have a more difficult and competitive career mode on the hardest difficulty. Dugowie. Come on, get it out. Handballs. Mitchell. Nice. Cox plays on. Probably shouldn't have. But Hoskin Elliott now turns. And we get a goal back. It's a two-point game here at the MCG. Little bit of sloppy football by the Cats, but the Pies are trying to come back. Dacos surging forward. 
Can't wait to see more of him this season. And Mason Cox with the grab. I think we'll play him at half forward until we might need to put him at full forward. But I can't wait to use him a lot on this game. The tallest player in the AFL. Should be incredibly overpowered with marks. But Bobby Hill has been exceptional in this match. Although we've been trailing quite a bit. Our forward line has come up clutch. And Bobby Hill brings it back within a goal. And the Pies... Could have a comeback here after a really good performance by the Cats. Fourth quarter now. Six points. It's a one-goal game. Cameron in the ruck. Goes up against Blitzarves. Mitchell wins it. Still can't get used to him in a Collingwood kit. Maynard whacks it. The Cats keep going. It's going to fall to Pendlebury. Pendles gets it out only as far as Adams. Who absolutely lofts it to Bobby Hill. Oh, never fear. Bobby is here. Needs to slot this one for the Pies to draw things up. And he does, scoring a hat-trick of goals. What a finish. That's something special there by Bobby Hill. Instant impact coming into this list. Our midfield starting to gel together with Dacos, Pendlebury, Adams and Mitchell. And the forward line has been exceptional. Bobby Hill finding a lot of space. Fourth quarter. A minute 30 to go. The Cats lead by a point now. And we need a goal. Ginevan comes up. Haven't seen much of him in this match. Ginevan trying to find Bobby Hill. Oh, big punch. It falls to Pendles who centralizes it. It's a two-on-one contest. Three-on-one. Cox with the grab. Either to draw or put the pies in front. Mason Cox. Big Tex. Can he do it? He can. <laughs> Looked a little bit ugly towards the end. But the pies go in front for the first time in this match. What a goal. Unbelievable scenes here at the G. With 58 seconds remaining. Cameron goes up. The Cats with a couple nice little handballs. The Pies need to stop this one. They switch it. Jack Ginevan not marking his man. It's allowed to play on How. Oh, with another terrible interception. Cats kick it. No. Oh, it's a good mark. Noble. Needs to get it out quickly. Oh, he gets chopped down. And it's a 50-meter rebound goal for the Cats. With 30 seconds remaining. Is it Guthrie? Oh, wow. How's he hit that? Oh no, the Pies could throw this match. 30 seconds, Cameron goes back up again. It's a nail-biter here at the G. Tom Mitchell with the clearance, tries to find Bobby Hill. He gets outmarked after scoring three. The Cats surging into the midfield. They might get a, another one here. Oh, we've pushed way too many players forward. How? No! <laughs> it was noble this time. Oh no. And it's Jeremy Cameron, I think, this time. To give the Cats the win. He puts it wide. But it's okay. Because it's going to be a two-point game. And we've missed by the smallest of margins there. It's a two-point victory to the Cats. Oh, no. Had a really good comeback as well. But just couldn't get over the line. The percentage is not going to be too bad, but it's a two-point loss. Disappointing. Oh, from their perspective, especially early on in the season, that can be an eight-point game. Oh, wow. Really happy with the challenge, though. Shame, as we move it to Port Adelaide. All right, so a loss against the Cats. Very, very minorly. Hopefully, we can come back as we host Port Adelaide. Okay, do I want to slightly change the team? Bobby Hill's been pretty good. The thing is, I do want to try the default formation for a bit before we bring in Elliot and, and Crisp and whatnot. But here we go. Match against the power. Obviously a huge rivalry. Probably the biggest rivalry between a Victorian and a non... Um, or an interstate team, rather. But here we go. Match against the power. Solid midfield. Solid forward line. 
They probably lack the defense as well. Interesting ball to side bottom. Oh, I thought he got chopped down there. Squares it to McStay. Hits it from the 45. I don't think he slotted that one. It was a high one, and it's a goal. The umpire says it's a goal. And the Pies start off the lead with McStay. Ball into midfield. McCreary to Dugowie. Meyer check. Haven't seen much of him to score his first of the career series. Brody. Meyer check from Bernie in Tasmania. Brings it to a two goal game here against the Power. What a goal. Okay, Port Adelaide are going to have a shot at goal here with Quainor on the mark. It's a good looking kick from the Power, and they bring it back within a one goal game. Super tight here. This could be as close as the Geelong game. Port Adelaide win the midfield duel. Pies hunting Ginevan with a magnificent interception. Finds Hoskin Elliott to score his first of the match to nullify that quick power goal. And he does with a magnificent kick. Wow, the AI is so good now. It's incredibly reactive. And even like Stuff like that is pretty good. The handballs and the quick turnover. Second quarter now. Maynard couldn't get to it. Port Adelaide looking for their second. Bang smack in front. You'd think they're going to get it. As the power look really tough here as well. Two, what I would consider, top eight. Definitely. Maybe even two top four sides we're versing. And we're trailing again. Second quarter still, a lot of close footy. Crisp in the midfield. How? Pow Pepper, I think that is. And he's tied things up here at the G as well. After that short, narrow lead, the Pies maybe are capitulating. The power go again here. Pow Pepper unleashed. Why is Charlie Dixon not marked there? That's infuriating. With 20 seconds remaining, going into half time. A lapse of concentration, maybe a little bit of exhaustion. Charlie Dixon can take the lead with the power. And he does. And celebrates ecstatically because of it. And Port Adelaide take the lead against the Pies. Third quarter now. Pendles finds Hoskin Elliott. He's going to take the shot to tie things back up here at the G. He shoots. He scores and he does. It's going to be another super close game here as we trail by a point. All things are tied up here now. 26-26 in the third. One quarter of footy remaining. They get it back into midfield. Horn Francis finds a target. And they play on so quickly as well. Bang! The power are going to take the lead. Three-quarter time. It's all going to come down to the final quarter of footy. Fourth quarter. Power lead by a goal. Looking to extend their lead to two. Oh, they're going to get it as well. We might get the sack here if we're not careful. As... If this goes through, we could potentially lose these two matches by a measly three goals, which is absolutely nothing in footy. Our percentage will be good, but geez. Port Adelaide trying to bring it out from the back. 40 seconds remaining, just trying to kill the clock. Ginevan wins it and gets the goal. Oh, we've got to be quick. We've got to be clean out, with, out of the goal square. Come on. Oh, we're not going to have time as the power, the real magpies, get the win over us. You've got to be joking. Two losses back to back by two goals.
Unbelievable. And it's still pretty early days, but the Pies' sort of early domination in this league is in trouble as we face the Richmond Tigers at home again. You'd nearly want to play somewhere else because our record isn't too good. But here we go, match against the Tigers. Hopefully it can result in a win. Okay, let's change up the midfield. I'm going to pick, put Cox at full forward and we'll put my check at half forward. But not going to change the difficulty. Still on hardest. You could maybe argue that we've been a little bit unlucky. But here we go, match against the Tigers. A team that are probably going to finish outside the top eight both in real life and in this game. But it's going to be interesting to see where the power and Geelong ultimately finish up. But maybe putting uh, Mason Cox at full forward might change things. He's a bit of a broken player on this game from what I've already sort of played with him. But here we go. The Tigers facing the Pies. Let's go. Already. Oh, my God. I'm still trying to learn this AI, but instantly outmarked as Tom Lynch has a golden opportunity to score the first goal in this match. Steps up, goes back, and slots it as well. Tom Lynch. Don't run too quick, Lynch. You might pull a hammy or <laughs> get an injury. Oh, no. All right, come on. We need to come back here. Bobby Hill. Cox. Spoiled. Only as far as Adams, who's come up. McStay turns and pivots, and the Pies react quickly. We've got a lot of high-quality forwards. It's just the midfield structure. We can't seem to get it out. Our defense lets us down as well. Maybe I need to invest in some defenders in the offseason. Ball in. Noble Moore. As the Tigers get it here on the pocket with Jack Revolt. He's going to go around the corner. You'd think he'd slot it quite easily. Richmond's top goal scorer over the past couple of years. And he gets the goal. Richmond back in front at the G. And already, we're in a little bit of jeopardy here in this career series. I feel like there's been an update like every single day for the past couple of weeks or so. So they're finally tweaking it. I just need to get used to how the AI plays and reacts, because what was working last week doesn't so much now. I think I need to time my marks a bit better and the way I lead. Spoiling and defending I need to work on. But hey, I guess from the oh, entertainment perspective, the jeopardy and goals for either side have gone up. Collingwood trailing in the second. Richmond looking to capitalise. They bomb it in. Why is there three Richmond players just sitting there? I'm still waiting for an update on proper tactics and stuff. As Maurice Rioli Jr. got a goal. Dusty with the second. Richmond kicked two in a row. As we go into halftime, Dusty lets out a celebration. Cox in the third quarter now. Looking to tie things up here at the G. Leading from full forward. Did well. And... Oh, it's actually not. I did the maths wrong. It's by a point now. <laughs> Still super close here. Ball up on the wing. Third quarter still. Cameron. Can't get it. Side bottom with the grab. Only as far as McStay. Who tries to find... Mason Cox, about to score two in a row, potentially. Leading from full forward. Have we figured out the meta of already? Stick the tallest man on the pitch at full forward. Go back to that traditional role. And he gets the goal. Collingwood lead. Again, straight to Mason Cox. <laughs> this is going to be number three. Oh, God. No one can outmark him. I don't need to time my marks properly in my leads if we just find the tallest player on the pitch. And it's a two gold lead for the Pies. We're in front. 
Back on the wing. Fourth quarter now. Dugowie gets chopped down. Adams chops a Richmond player down. It falls back to Dugowie, who fires it to the top of the goal square. Mason Cox lines up for number four. An average AFL player, Mason Cox. Could become the <laughs> top goal scorer for Collingwood. If he keeps this up, he could win the Coleman. Oh, great goal there from Coxie. Hoskin Elliott could win this one. McStay. And that's it. The full-time whistle blows. And the Collingwood Magpies get their first win of the season. Thanks to Mason Cox. That man there. Unbelievable comeback. And that's a massive scalp against the Richmond Football Club. Oh, what a result. And Pendles celebrates. Oh, that was such a close game. Four by Cox in the end. He basically came up clutch for us. Moving on now, a match against the Lions. And yeah, Cox at full forward is definitely the play. First away match as well, though. We go and face the Lions at the Gabba. Top four in premiership favourites, you'd think. Let's get stuck into the Lions. Who probably have an on par. A better forward line, maybe. Oh, Quaino with a good interception there. Their midfield. I, I would say actually Collingwood's midfield, even as a Brisbane Lions supporter, is probably better. As the Lions trying to get their first. Who's this? From the 45 on the run. Robinson, maybe. Alright. Mitchell fires it. Hoskinelli couldn't get to it. My check turns. Oh, that's alright. We seem up for this one. After that win against the Tigers, we've regained some confidence. My check going ballistic at the Gabba. McStay facing his former side finds Ginevan. Haven't seen much of him. Our best small forward has been Bobby Hill. And Ginevan steps up and converts. The Pies take the lead. Getting some confidence after those two losses that shattered it. Okay, in our forward 50 now. The Pies looking to extend the lead in the first quarter. Couple good bits of tackling. Hoskin Elliott releases the footy barely. It's a two goal game, and the Pies are back in front. Brisbane can't seem to get it out of their D50. Oh, what an interception there by the son of the Macedonian Marvel. Nick Dacos fires it to Hoskin Elliott on an angle here now to step up and slot this one and he does Will Hoskin Elliott a brilliant goal from a brilliant footballer second quarter the Pies leading by three Quainor trying to bring it out from the back gets dropped chopped down and the Lions rebound with a goal and it's Charlie Cameron we don't want him to turn up Mm, Danaher now on the mark to score Brisbane second in a row. It could go to a one-goal game. Joe Danaher, the former bomber. What's he done? Is he at the post? No, it's a goal. It came back at the last moment there. Oh. Bouncing ball. Ginevan trying to Hunt it down and turn into our forward 50. What a brilliant handball. Pendlebury on the angle. Scott, never fear. Scotty is here. <laughs> oh, with an absolute blinder from the pocket. Pendles going from midfield to forward. What a goal. Second quarter. Pies lead by two. Hoskin Elliott chops someone down. Ginevan, someone win it. Oh, good on you, Jack. Obviously been dropped a fair bit in real life. If he kicks this, we probably should promote him. Oh, 
He's a good kick on the footy in this game. Him and Bobby Hill are very, very good. Obviously, a huge rivalry between Brisbane and Collingwood, especially in those early 2000s. Oh! We've got historical precedent to be a bit grudgy. <laughs> Hoskin Elliott extends it to four. And we're looking good in this match. Brisbane, couple good handballs. Can't stop it here in the third. They managed to get one back. It's still a full goal lead though. Third quarter. Oh, Cameron pops it to full forward. Oh, I think we've found the meta here. One way traffic. Make sure everything <laughs> goes to the top of the goal square to find Mason Cox because in this game he is way way more of an accurate kick than he is in real life of course and he's nowhere near as injury prone Bobby Hill fourth quarter Pies leading they're not even marking him he's going to be able to wind up here from the pocket makes sure to square and centralize his body and the Pies run away with a six goal game I think I've sort of gotten used to now how the AI works after a couple games. You need to make sure you run and get a bit of space and lead properly and mark and time your intercept. It's all about actually positioning the player. It didn't matter before. Goal kicking's the same. But I feel like a bit more of man... If you can... If you could control the tactics, like man marking, I think it would make a significant difference to not conceding. And maybe I do need to sort of pull my player manually back. Because I usually just control the player on the mark. But we're about to have a thumping victory here over the Brisbane Lions. I feel bad, bad as a Brisbane supporter. Bobby here with a grab. Yeah, because I actually lent with him a little bit better now. I think I'm getting used to out marking. And it's just the reverse for the intercept. But 74-26. Eight goals we're leading against the Lions. We're pumping them. Quainor now. Hey, and it's the full-time siren as we hammer the Lions at the Gabba. Two losses, two wins. Only time will tell how this Collingwood side does this season. Wow, 12 goals, our biggest result. Mason Cox with two, Ginevan with three, Hoskin Elliott with three, Bobby Hill with two, Adams, Ginevan, Hoskin Elliott. But um, Mason Cox definitely being the best player. What do you guys reckon? Have you guys played with Collingwood? I'm sure I've got a fair few Collingwood su uh, supporters watching me. He seems super overpowered in this game. I can't wait to test him out in pro team. I'm already sort of making a list of my ideal pro team. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed episode one of the AFL 23 Management Collingwood Career Mode. Stay tuned for episode two coming out soon. The exact same time tomorrow, where we're going to continue this save and hopefully we can build up a nice run to make that top eight and eventually finals as well. So thanks for watching. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, all that stuff. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments. If you want to see more from me, check out the videos on screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.